in the version 12.3.4 I noticed that it was staying extreme left on the highway when it should have basically stayed in the middle lane most of the time but it was trying to like switch back to the far left lane uh, every single time so we'll see what happens today and I'll give you my feedback because this is the latest version now 12.3.5 and we'll see if that issue is corrected or we still have the same kind of pattern there too i've tested the car on local road so far 3.5 uh, works really gra great and you know it's smooth on the turns stop signs and stop lights Keep an eye on this thing if you guys, I don't know if you can see it, but I am trying to see how close to the curve are we, right? So we were far, far, far a fair distance from the curve. So I don't know if they have, you know, changed anything or updated this in their software. No issues so far, not, not driving very close to the curve. So it's following the speed limit. It's, uh, the speed limit here is around, around 40, so it's going to 37. The car ahead of us too, so it's maintaining the distance. 500 feet, turn left onto State Highway 38. Now turn left onto State Highway 38. Okay, so that's a busy road coming up. So it'll be interesting to see how this turn is going to be made. If you see this yellow sign, it's just uh, getting the battery ready for peak performance so this guy is coming straight I have to make a left let's see okay yeah it and this guy too look at this so this guy abruptly decided to come here and the car didn't move forward perfect this is really really good I love this like the way it handled the situation it didn't get confused at all it just uh, moved a little bit towards the right and then made the left turn perfect this thing is getting smarter and smarter every time uh, they have a new version update so you guys will be happy when you start using the 3.5 12.3.5 okay so we're gonna go straight and then take a right where we are gonna end up on the actual highway here and we'll see which lane this thing decides to stay on whether they have fixed anything because I, I was mentioning like uh, i was testing it the other day it was staying towards the fast fast lane or towards the very left lane right so let's see i may have to take over for a little bit because there are some potholes I know the FSD still is not capable of uh, detecting the potholes but look at this guys like perfect perfect this is so cool really really great look at that this is really good man so guys you are seeing this the first cut like you're seeing this as it, it's happening right so it's all uncut video uh, look at this like it's fine it's staying a little bit of a distance from the curve as well perfectly fine 
So I'm gonna go. Okay. For a fact, like so, this I gotta check the road near my house because you know it's the same kind of situation. Uh, in this case, we do have to go straight, but uh, in you know the roads closer to my normal route, like you have to go far left to make a left. But in this case, we're going straight. It actually did the right thing. It came into the middle lane, uh, middle lane right away. So amazing stuff. I hope they fix the road here. Otherwise, I'll take over just for a little bit. Okay, it seems like fine. I think they fixed it. So another gentleman uh, commented on one of my videos that, like, you know, on Model S or Model X, you know, the suspension will go back to low again if you change it to medium so when you touch so let me give you a background of this so like let me let me first change it to back to the medium so what happens is on, when you are on the highway in model s and then you know if that gentleman is watching this video i can show it to him too like you know it's on medium and it's gonna stay on medium so on model s and model x there are extreme uh, negative camber um, and you know that's how the cars are built and that's this is how basically they're designed so when the cars come from tesla they are actually aligned at the medium level you know uh, so that's basically when you're driving the car normally it basically uses the medium you know settings right when you go on the highway it's going to automatically go to the lowest settings and then you have to change it back to medium so which i just did so it's sticking to medium i'm gonna keep this view if you guys can see it and then on the highway right now you can see that we're not driving in the far left lane so that's something i think may have been updated so i was like really pissed off at this when i was uh, testing it on the highway last time where that was the 12.3.4 uh, version it was going into the far left sign uh left lane again and again in this case it's staying on this this side uh, and it's not like switching lanes to go on to the left side uh, extreme left side I would say so let's see we still have a few miles to go on this highway let's see what it's gonna do also four minutes for the peak performance until the drag strip mode is on so we will actually see if the drag strip mode can be on while you're using the FSD as well. I don't, this thing does not work uh, when you have the track mode on, and likely so. So, it's changing the lane now automatically, and let's see where it's gonna stay. Okay, it's going back or going towards the extreme left lane again. Okay maintaining the speed which is fine okay yeah I don't know this is again like one of the things that I was mentioning in my video around the 12.3.4 version the most aggressive settings one the video that I made it was sticking to the most left lane which I don't like and it's doing the same thing again in this drive as well I'm gonna try to manually put the signal for this to come on this side and let's see if it's gonna stick to this lane because when you're using the enhanced autopilot this is not a problem right um, it actually follows and stays in the middle lane but the FSD is a little bit different so the speed limit is 65 here and this thing is automatically picking up 75 and we are at 73 right now 72 right so I'm just putting these numbers out there just to show you guys what it's actually doing okay so far it's staying in the middle lane again so the guy in the front is trying to break again and again I think it's not safe to stay in this lane now so let's see okay the car is doing the right thing in this case making a left and staying in the fast moving lane 
and we just touch the yoke as well. And for reference, we are still at medium suspension. So this is the best setting if you guys want to have a longer tire life without installing any aftermarket parts on your Tesla Model X and Model S especially. Okay, so the guy behind me is getting pissed off, right? If you can see, the guy in the Honda is right on my tail and the car is on the lane where it's supposed to go fast. Let me see if I can increase the speed a little bit. Yes, I can, so I just did that. This guy is also riding my, <laughs> my tail, so. 72 miles an hour and still at medium suspension guys so just showing you this for reference because I was uh, being challenged on this in my previous video almost got a more than a one and a half mile to go before we have to take our exit going at 90 miles an hour but you can go at 90 miles per hour don't, don't worry do whatever you want <laughs> at your own risk okay so there definitely something changed I think between the version 3.4 and 3.5 it is making those calls and coming into the middle lane when you know the right thing to do um, so, so our exit is coming up you know I think we are almost 0 0.5 miles 0 0.4 miles from the exit and it's starting to come on this lane perfectly fine no issues at all and again if you guys can see this thing is ready for peak performance don't want to launch the car in this video that's for some some future content probably go to a safer location and then do that perfect so it took our exit and it's taking me to the location I put so this is another tricky one let's see what uh, okay so it stayed in the left side which is fine And for reference again, we are still at medium, right? So we took the exit. So this proves the point that you can change the uh, suspension from low to medium when you are driving on the highway. Uh, again, this is when you are like going at a constant speed. So let's say if I was going at 70 and I just floored it, it would have gone back, uh, gone to low automatically, right? Uh, that's how the car is designed. But if you're going at like a set speed, if it goes to low, you can change it back to medium and it'll stick to medium as long as you are driving at the constant speed perfect we made a perfect left turn no issues here as well okay so guys uh, let me know what do you guys think of version 3.12.3.5 uh, right a long name right so what do you think about this and when you start using it um, let me know what your feedback is gonna be how do you like it it's gonna be rolled out in a few days I think it's already like coming to the cars so you will be getting it very soon as well right so let me know what you guys think about today's video I think I have answered some of the questions and concerns that people commented on in my previous video so let me know if there's anything else you want me to test and I'll be making videos more around this topic. Also have to do a six month review of Model S Plaid. So that is something which is in the pipeline. So if you are interested in that, please consider subscribing. 